This video was sponsored by JLC PCB. This is my Slime VR Tracker. You can use it along with your VR headset to enable full body tracking in games like VR Chat. This tracker uses ESP8266 and has built-in gyroscope. I've also made a simple 3D printed case that works with the Apple Watch bands. It's quite comfortable when I wear it on my wrists. Today I will show you how you can make it yourself. I've begun by grabbing the D1 mini board, MPU6500 gyroscope and then followed the official wiring schematics. Everything was super easy to connect. And now I have pretty much the prototype board ready. I've connected it to my PC and installed all of the firmware files. Now I can pair it with Slime VR server and see how it works. As you can see, the movement is being recognized, so it's basically working perfectly. So now let's make a custom tracker board. First I will remove all of the parts, those will be used later on. I've removed all of the components and mapped out the values. I've put all of the parts in a ziplock bag since I will solder them to the new board. With all of this done, I've created a PCB in Autodesk Fusion 360, which has all of the components on it. After that, I've prepared a Gerber files, which will be used to order PCBs from JLC PCB. You can also find the ready to order Gerber files on my Patreon page. With the Gerber files ready, you can go to JLC PCB website and upload the files. Here you can see the board preview and change all of the settings like solder mask color or thickness. When you're done with the settings, you just click save to cart and place the order. The package as always arrived very fast. I think it took about one week to arrive. As always everything is packaged safely and there is zero chance that the board will get damaged in transport. This time I've ordered two versions of this board. One simple one that should work without issues and second one more experimental. Let's unpack the more experimental one first. Each time you place an order on JLC PCB website, you get at least 5 pieces of the board. Let's open the safe version now. As you can see, the PCB quality is very impressive. The white solder mask makes it look very professional. I really like the purple one as well. And I think the color purple really matches the slime VR aesthetic. I will start by assembling the safe version first. As usual, I absolutely drenched the PCB with flux. And now I will put solder on all of the solder pads. With those two things done, I can now begin soldering the components. And this is where the ziplock bags come in. All of the stuff is pretty much inside, so the only thing left is to solder them back in. With the tracker soldered, you can now connect it to your PC and start the slime VR server. It seems that my tracker is recognized properly, but it doesn't quite work. For some kind of reason, it just doesn't work. Thankfully, I've soldered the second experimental one, and this one works flawlessly. I've connected it to my PC, and as you can see, it started blinking. It has been recognized by SlamVR server, and is now assigned as the chest tracker. As you can see, it responds to the gyroscope movement. I've designed a simple 3D printed case that perfectly fits the whole PCB. The whole print takes about 30 minutes to finish. It uses three self-stopping screws to assemble both pieces together. I've also made those two ridges right here that are used to attach the Apple Watch bands. This version of the board doesn't really use any kind of battery. Unfortunately, you still have to use USB for power. I'm already working on a new version that will have proper battery and power management. So that's pretty much all for today. Thanks for watching everyone and hope to see you in the next video. And as always, huge thanks to my patrons. See you later and goodbye.